Let's learn more about the common birds at your bird feeder. This video counts down the 10 most common feeder birds in the state. For each species, we discuss range, habitat, behavior, identification, and the foods they eat at your bird feeder. Let's get right to it. Stellar's Jay. Stellar's Jays are common in conifer forests of the West. These birds are year-round residents from Southeast Alaska along the coast and in the mountains through Mexico. They are especially common in damp coniferous forests along the west coast, but they also occur in drier pine forests and the Rocky Mountains. They are common in towns within these forests. Noisy and inquisitive, their raspy calls are often heard, even in the dense forests. These birds are larger than American robins. They are stocky with a large crested head and full tail. Legs and feet are strong. The bills are fairly long, straight, and heavy. These birds are dark blue on the body, wings, and tail. The shoulders and head, including a prominent crest, are dull black. There are usually some blue feathers on the forehead. Genders are colored the same. Stellar's jays eat peanuts, black oil sunflower seeds, and suet from platform and hopper feeders. Red-winged blackbird. Red-winged blackbirds are common birds across North America. In summer, they are found from Alaska across Canada, south into Mexico. In winter, they abandon much of Canada and the northern Great Plains and Midwest. They nest in marshes in summer where there are cattails and similar plants. In winter, they spread out into fields, cattle lots, and residential neighborhoods. These birds are colonial nesters in cattail marshes. In fall and winter, they form very large flocks composed of many young of the year starlings, grackles, cowbirds, and other blackbirds. Such flocks can number into the hundreds of thousands, especially in the east. These birds are about the size of American robins, perhaps a bit smaller. They are stocky with a fairly long tail. They have rather flat foreheads that accentuate the long bill. The bill is fairly stout at the base, long, pointed, and straight on the upper and lower edges. Males are glossy black with yellow-edged red shoulders that can be hidden in the scapular feathers when the wings are at rest. Females are a bit smaller than males. They are pale with heavy brown streaks on the underparts. Some populations show buff on the face. They may confuse beginners into thinking they are some kind of a streaky sparrow. The flat crown and very straight and sharply pointed bill point to their identification as blackbirds. At your feeder, they will eat black oil sunflower seeds and suet. Anna's Hummingbird Anna's Hummingbirds are the resident hummingbird on the west coast, remaining through the winter when all the other hummingbirds have migrated south. These hummingbirds are year-round residents from southern British Columbia south to southern California and Arizona. They live wherever winter temperatures don't stay below freezing for more than a week at a time. They are summer residents to the east of the Cascades and Sierra Nevada mountains and occasional winter visitors from southeastern Arizona to Texas. They are early nesters, late December into May. They have expanded from their historic coastal California range to follow winter blooming landscaping and hummingbird feeders north and east. They are still expanding their range. Males are unusual in singing from an exposed perch. The song is a rising and falling buzzy squeaking, lasting seven seconds or more. These are larger than ruby-throated, rufous, and black-chinned hummingbirds, but still smaller than most other birds. As with most hummingbirds, they have a large round head that sits without obvious neck on a plump body. The tail is short. When perched, the tail often extends slightly beyond the wingtips. The bill is long, thin, tubular, and rather straight. Both genders are green above, and the underparts are gray, generously speckled with green on the flanks. Males in full breeding plumage have an iridescent pink throat, face, and crown. The edge of the throat feathers may flare out. Immature males have the ruby pink restricted to the throat and advancing over the forehead. Females have gray throats, usually with a patch of iridescent green feathers in the lower center. They feed on spiders and insects and nectar, especially hummingbird feeders. House finch. House finches used to be only found in the west. 
but are now common at feeders coast to coast. These are year-round residents across the United States and Mexico. As their name suggests, they are common in residential yards across the United States. They are also found in canyon lands in the West. They are rare or absent in extensive grasslands or high mountains. These birds are found in flocks throughout the year. They give lively, warbled song and chirps. They may feed on the ground, but when frightened, they fly up into the higher parts of a tree to keep an eye on the intruder. Similar looking sparrows will dive into the nearest low cover and hide. House finches are smaller birds, a bit smaller than the widespread house sparrows. They often appear long and slim with a rounded head and medium long tail that has a shallow notch. The bill is short and thick at the base. The upper ridge of the bill is curved. Males are streaky gray-brown on the upper parts. The sides and flanks are streaked broadly with brown lines. These red-headed finches have red or red-orange concentrated on their foreheads and eyebrow stripe, upper chest, and rump. Females are rather streaky, as the males, without any red color. Their head is evenly marked with short streaks throughout, not showing any pattern. House finches love black oil sunflower seeds from tube feeders. European Starling European starlings are often mistaken for blackbirds, but they are in different bird family, don't share a lot of similarities other than their general black coloration. These birds are year-round residents from southeast Alaska, across southern Canada, and all of the lower 48 states into northern Mexico. In addition, birds move northward into northern Canada in summer. They are found in urban, suburban, fields, and orchards. In autumn and winter, they gather into huge flocks, often with other blackbirds. These birds have the body size of an American robin, but a much shorter tail. They are about eight and a half inches long, from the tip of the bill to the tip of the tail. They have plump bodies, rather large heads, and short tails. Wings are short and pointed in flight, almost triangular. Their bills are long and pointed. Dark brown birds that are worn in late summer get fresh new feathers in fall. Then their iridescent black feathers are tipped with white chevrons. These gradually wear off during the winter and spring. By summer they are mostly black without many spangles. Breeding birds have yellow bills. The bills are brown in the non-breeding season. Both genders are colored the same. Because of their aggressive nature, most people do not like starlings at their bird feeder. Starlings have weak feet, so have trouble eating from tube feeders and special upside-down suet feeders. Spotted Toey Spotted Toeys are large, colorful sparrows. They are a bit wary and stay hidden in the bushes. They live in the west. Those in the mountains of Wyoming and Montana move south in the winter as far as Arizona and Texas. Other populations are permanent residents. These birds live in forest clearings and shrublands. They like to hide in dense brush. They feed on the ground. They kick over leaf litter with both feet at once as they search for seeds and insect food. They make whiny notes and have a musical trilled song. Males are jet black above, including a full hood, rusty on the sides with a white belly. They have white spots on the wing coverts. The tail is tipped with large white tail corners. Populations differ in the amount and boldness of spotting and the shade of rusty sides. Females are quite similar to males. The upper parts may be more gray. The spots may be smaller. They are most likely to feed on fallen seeds under your feeder, but they may only visit at quiet times when few other birds are present. Northern Flicker Northern Flickers are one of the most confusing backyard birds. When these brownish birds take flight, they reveal a bright flash of red or yellow in the wings and a large white rump. When people see them hopping in the lawn and poking in the dirt with their long curved bills, they can't conceive that these birds are woodpeckers. They are summer residents from Alaska and across Canada south into the mountains of Mexico. They are year-round residents from southern Canada south. In winter, large numbers from northern Canada and Alaska move south as far as the southwestern deserts of the United States. These birds are found in open woodlands and residential areas with trees. They are as likely to be found on lawns as they are on tree trunks. The reason these woodpeckers are found hopping on lawns is that their primary food is ants found on the ground. Thus, they are often seen poking at the ground. These are large birds, much larger than American robins, 
but smaller than American crows. They are the length of mourning doves, but shaped much differently. They have a large body with a big head on a short neck. The tail is short and wedge-shaped. The bill is longer than the head, rather thin and down-curved compared to other woodpeckers. They are brown above with black bars on the back and wing covered. The underparts are rather pinkish with round spots on the underparts. They have a big black crescent across the chest. The rump is white, best seen when they are flying directly away. They have brightly colored bases to the wing feathers that are hidden until they take flight. From below or underneath, the tail is brightly colored with wide black tips to the tail feathers. Eastern birds have yellow bases to the wing and tail feathers. They have brown faces and gray crowns. Males have a black whisker mark and a red nape mark which females lack. Western birds have salmon red wing linings and tail. They have a gray face and brown crown. Males have a red whisker mark that is lacking in females. Northern flickers visit suet feeders. They will also nest in specially built flicker houses. Black capped chickadees. The cute black capped chickadees must be one of the favorite birds at feeders across much of North America. They are year round residents in Alaska and across Canada south across the northern half of the United States. These birds are found in deciduous and mixed woods, orchards, and backyards. They feed in small flocks acrobatically on the end of twigs searching for invertebrates and small seeds. In winter, they make up the core of roaming mixed feeding flocks. These flocks include chickadees, kinglets, nuthatches, and often include brown creepers, downy woodpeckers, illarumped warblers, and wrens. These are small birds, smaller than house finches. They are about the same length as American goldfinches. The bodies of chickadees are round and plump. They have big heads and long tails that flit about. They have long legs and big feet. The bills are short and stout. This allows them to eat both seeds and invertebrate foods. These birds are gray above and buffy below. They have striking black caps and bibs, offset by their white face. You may also notice the white secondary wing edges of the folded wing. Genders are identical in appearance. At your feeder, black-capped chickadees love black oil sunflower seeds. They take these one at a time to a nearby branch. They hold the seed with their feet and pound the shell open with their bill to get the kernel inside. In fall, they often take the whole seed away and store it for the winter in what's called a cache. Dark-eyed juncos are the snowbirds that visit feeders in winter. These birds have a complex range. They are year-round residents in the mountains of the west and northeastern United States. They are summer residents far north across Canada and Alaska. In winter, birds move into the lowlands throughout the U.S. For breeding, they live in damp conifer forests. In winter, they choose brushy fields, orchards, hedgerows, backyards. They feed on the ground in nervous flocks, twitching their tails and exposing their white outer tail feathers. These are small birds about the size of house finches. They have round bodies, large heads on short necks, and medium length square ended tails. The bill is conical, but small, short, and bright pink. There are a wide variety of plumage types, some considered full species in the past. All types have flashing white outer tail feathers, little pink seed-eating bills, and dark eyes. They have gray hoods and white bellies. In the north and east, the slate-colored form is almost all slate gray with white belly and white outer tail feathers. Males are darker, females paler, sometimes with a brown back. In the west, the Oregon juncle form has males with jet black hood, rich brown back, pink sides, white belly. Females have pale gray hoods. Pink-sided juncos are similar to Oregon juncos, but both genders have pale gray hoods and more extensive pink sides. In the southern Rockies, the gray-headed forms are pale gray throughout with reddish backs. Dark-eyed juncos like to feed on the ground under your feeder. They eat millet and mixed smaller seeds from the platform feeders. Song Sparrow Song sparrows are widespread across North America. These birds summer from southern Alaska and across Canada to the Ohio River Valley and in the west to Southern California and Arizona. In winter, most birds leave Canada and the Northern Great Plains, except for a population in Western Canada. The winter birds push south to Florida and Texas into Northern Mexico. These birds are found in a wide variety of brushy habitats. 
They are found in open woodlands, marshes, and backyards landscaped with large bushes and brambles. They spend a lot of time hopping on the ground looking for food. They eat insects and invertebrates in summer, but mostly seeds in winter. They are a bit smaller than house sparrows. They have a round body, round head, and longer tail with a rounded tip. The bill is triangular, short and thick at the base. Across their range, these birds show much variation. Desert birds are paler. Northwestern birds are dark and reddish. Alaskan birds are much larger. In general, they are gray, streaked with brown, with breast streaks forming a center spot on the breast. The pattern of the head is complex, but rather diagnostic. The white throat is bordered by a flaring lateral throat stripe. Genders are identical. Song sparrows will visit platform feeders, but more likely stay under dense bushes, venturing out on the ground below the feeders. There you have it, the 10 most common feeder birds in the state. My channel page has playlists covering bird watching, bird identification, and interesting nature facts. Details are in the description below. Thank you for liking and subscribing, and enjoy your feeder birds.